Today we have a very interesting scene. We suggest you to be engaged in a decoupage and to work in the smoky technique. To make the smoky decoupage is a difficult task. But if you have a fair amount of patience and persistence, you will have unusual, beautiful and harmonious products. Hello, my name is Natasha Fochtina, and I'm glad as always to welcome you in our studio. Today we have the most interesting lesson. We will make an art decoupage. Is more true, one of its directions, a smoky decoupage. If to look at any work made in this technique at once, it becomes clear that we will work with a product background. The cut-out and glued drawing should merge with it, so that all composition become one and harmonious, and we couldn't see the transition from a paper decor to colorful. Before begin our work, I would like to tell a little about the materials and the techniques which we need to master. So, at first, I will pay your attention to paints. In general, we will accept any acrylic, but it's better to use a quality paint not for a hobby, but for the artworks, which has a homogeneous consistency and suitable for any surfaces. These paints remarkably mix up between themselves, and we don't dilute them in work, but work using the ready structure. By the way, in the smoky technique we can work both in simple and in a reverse decoupage. If you assume to make a decor from the top of any surface, on wooden, ceramic or plastic, then you need drying deterrent for acrylic painting. I notice that this is wonderful substance. Drying deterrent for acrylic painting in the unusual way detains the drying for acrylic for the term up to one hour that gives the chance to us to mix colorful spots between themselves and to shade their edges on a decorated subject as on a palette. Here, the most important thing is not to overdo with this means and not to add it in a paint in a large quantity that it's necessary. One or two parts of deterrent is quite enough on 10 parts of a paint for comfortable work. In other words, we took on a brush some of these means and have mixed up with the paint on a palette. And only then we work with this enriched long drying structure. If you decide to make the work in the technique of a reverse decoupage with smoky effect, I wouldn't advise to you to use the drying deterrent for acrylic painting, as the basic method of drawing off a paint on glass is Tupovka by foam rubber. But don't be upset. Yes, the technique of work with glass a little differs from work with a wood, but the finished product looks uncommonly and without additional means slowing down the drying. But the most important thing that you need to master is the smoky drawing. In other words, a translucent even paint coat which should cover a decorated surface with grains. I think that when you will train a little, you master this method. We take a plate and put on foam rubber some acrylic paint. Remove its surpluses on a paper and here thus we do a smoke. I repeat, we should have the even translucent surface. So, we begin. For work you need to prepare a glass plate, an alcoholic solution, acrylic paints of pink color, white, green, violet, yellow and colors of an ivory, a piece of foam rubber, a sheet of a paper, a rice paper with the like drawing, white glue, two-step croquet and a gold pigment, 
and a small white paper three-layer napkin to fix a decor on a glass surface. We begin the work with glass with habitual operation. We should unoil it using an alcoholic solution. I notice that as we decorate a plate in the technique of a reverse decoupage, we wipe it by spirit from the underside. We can put it once on a pure surface cracklea. It seems to me that with the decor in the smoky technique, it will look uncommonly, especially I am going to make this bucket on a light background. I suggest make a two-step cracklea. At first, we put on glass using a piece of foam rubber a patina varnish from one jar and wait for 40-45 minutes that it will fix on glass. If you are too lazy to wait so long, you can warm it up by the hair drying during 5 minutes, but I notice that the antnatural drying, the crocle, will be better and isn't turn away from a glass surface if to overhead it much. After the first step will dry up, I notice that you won't understand it by touch. It remains sticky. You apply on it using a brush, a layer of picture cracking varnish. This layer shouldn't be too thin. Don't press the brush, not to damage the bottom layer and try that all surface will be covered by it. Otherwise, in some places you will get not cracks, but uneven stains. As soon as you will see that you have copped with the task, put the plate aside and wait for appearance of cracks. Or take the hair dryer and warm up the surface, then directly before your eyes will appear the artistic cracks. Because under crocklea we still have the sticky surface from patina varnish, we can put by a cotton pad on it a dried gold pigment and we will have gold cracks. Further, we cut out the drawing from a rice paper, glue it on the underside of the plate, the image from ourselves, using the white glue, and apply the white acrylic on its backside. After the paper decor will be fixed on glass, we take a piece of a foam rubber and an ivory acrylic paint and put our smoke on all surface. I notice that each paint layer, which we will apply subsequently, we dry, as well as this. And one more. Pay attention that if you want that crocklea continue to crack a paint, which will lay down on it, before putting a smoke, it's necessary to varnish a plate with a glued drawing. In this case, I don't do it, as I want to get here such interesting background with a large crocle. So, further, we make color shades. It's very interesting to put them, as how you will put them depends only on your imagination and taste. You take the acrylic paints of different colors and, by turns with intermediate drying by a piece of foam rubber, put by them color stains on the background round the glue drawing from the underside of the glass plate. We work also in the smoky technique. In other words, we leave not fat stains of a paint on surface, but even prints by moist foam rubber. And perhaps the most important in this work is sense of proportion. You should make only easy shades around the drawing, instead of painting all colors of rainbow its background. Though it's also an idea, and I think that cheerful things in the house will prevent nobody. And in this work should remain light color more than all the others. We turn the plate inside down, examine it, and if it seems that you don't want to add something, we coat all it backside with white acrylic and dry it well. Now our decor in the smoky technique is ready, and we only need to fix it on glass. We take one layer of a white paper napkin, put it on the plate on the decorated surface, and we glue with white glue. 
We dry, cut off uneven edges by an edge and put on a stand the amazing beauty plate in the smoky decoupage technique. By the way, if you can cut the first smoky layer even for the time being, you can do without it and to use the other method. For example, each color of acrylic paint can be mixed with white, thereby we remove their saturation. Such pastel stains won't look deeply and quite harmoniously decorate a product background. I noticed that it's necessary to put these shades by foam rubber that the edges won't be clear enough. I tell the truth that in this technique the works look amazingly too. Now I suggest to work in the smoky technique in a simple decoupage and to make here such nice clock. We prepare for work. Plywood preparation with the aperture drilled in advance under a clockwork. White acrylic ground, a decoupage card with the drawing which you like, water tank, white glue, a pencil with the pieces of foam rubber, drying deterrent for acrylic painting, acrylic paints of different colors and necessarily an ivory paint, acrylic varnish, 
two-step croclea, a dried gold pigment, a clockwork, hands and good mood. It's required to you, first of all. We begin that we should prepare the plywood preparation for work. We smooth it out by the emery paper and coat with white acrylic ground. Dry it well, again level by the emery paper the surface and start more creative operations. We need to cut out from the decoupage card the drawing you liked strictly on the counter, to put it to the plywood preparation and to circle by a pencil. And we don't need the drawing for a while as we pass to the smoky decoupage technique, in other words, to work with the background. I pay you attention that I use for work not cheap paints, therefore for their storage I use such palette. I put the required quantity of paint, and if it's necessary for me to look aside from work, I moisten the foam rubber in a lid and densely close it. And when I come back, I find all materials in the same condition in which have left. I notice that dry and deterrent for acrylic painting I put in the center too, as it's very convenient. So we begin. I take some deterrent on the brush, mix it with acrylic paint of the chosen color and put on the product. It's possible to work with the brush in the direction from the drawing counter, drawing out and shading the edges of a color stain. But I like to do it by a piece of foam rubber, so the paint lays down more evenly. I notice that it's better to begin with the light colors and then to pass to more dark. It's natural that dark around the image. As soon as you will be happy with the picturesque result, you need to dry the surface and to glue there the drawing. I remind that we glue the decoupage card like this. At first, we pat it wet in water, then take out, dry, smear with white glue, put to the surface and coat in well with glue from the top. Press it. After all surface will dry up, we need to do the last operation. We make a smoke. In other words, we level the background, combining it with the drawing. It's ideal to do a smoke with an ivory acrylic paint. We take the paint on a piece of foam rubber, and using the method Tupovka, we transfer it on the product. Ideally, the finished product should look like this, or approximately so. We can put in it a clockwork, attach the hands, and even to draw a numerical dial and to varnish. And also, I recommend decorate with this wonderful clock your home, that they will bring to you many happy hours, minutes and seconds. If you suddenly still have forces and desire to work, you can make a croclea on this clock. As the decor is already finished, we take two-step croclea. At first, we put patina varnish using a piece of foam rubber, dry it, then we take a brush and apply the second step, picture cracking varnish by even layer. Again, we dry it and get the cracked surface in which we, by a cotton pad, rub a dried pigment. I tell the truth, in such variant with gold cracks, I like this clock more.
By the way, if you had not time to get a dried pigment which is wrapped in crackly cracks, you could replace it with any powders. In other words, for work you could take dry eyeshadow, both the pounded pastel and slate pencils from color pencils. I even saw the work with amazing crackly cracks, and it has appeared that in them have wrapped the red ground paper. What to tell here? To achieve the beautiful effect, all means are good. It seems to me that for today you have enough information about how to decorate a product in the smoky decoupage technique. I notice that there are a lot of variants how to make it. Each master chooses for himself the way the most convenient for him. For example, as you have noticed, at first I made the shades drawing in a simple decoupage, and already then I glue the paper motif. It's possible to make easier, to glue the motif on a surface, to put on it two layers of acrylic varnish with intermediate drying, and already then to put shades with drying deterrent for acrylic painting. This method is good that if you don't make something, you can wash off a paint without damage the drawing and to begin the work anew. I'm sure that you can't make it once what you want, as I, myself, have spoiled not one plate and not one clock while I liked them. But if you are trained a little, shortly in your house there will be new and interesting things in the technique of an art decoupage, even better than our today's plate and clock. I'm sure in it. And also, I want to notice that the art decoupage doesn't have the accurate frameworks and instructions which it should be. Here you are the artist and the author of the masterpiece. Try new materials, search for new graphic means and don't limit your imagination. And then your things become highly artistic in the opinion of your friends and relatives. On it me, Natasha Fokhtina, say goodbye to you, to new ideas, good luck and goodbye.